why do I have to leave? I promised my brother we'd go fishing. You know how it is. Yeah, I'm starting to get the hint. <sighs> Come on, Eric. Ditch the girl and let's go. Sorry, little brother. Anytime, Eric. My lady, you're amazing. But sadly, I must go. Hey. You better call me later. Do it! Whoa, whoa! Who are you? Her boyfriend. Her boyfriend? You're dead. a little dude. David, get out of here. Get away from my brother. Okay, tough guy. Just don't hurt me. This ain't over. You're still dead. David, no! Stop! Stop! No! No! What did you do? David, what did you do, man? Hey, I'm making a grocery list. What sounds better, salmon or tri-tip? Yes, yep. No, I'll get that over to you ASAP. I'm on my way. Coming in early, leaving late. Again. Okay. I, don't worry about me, babe. Just get whatever you want. You can always just take it for lunch tomorrow. Yes, no, we'll discuss that in the meeting as well. Okay. See you soon. It's gonna be a late one, babe. Okay. I can always just work on my memoir, Life of a Tech Widow. First success, huh? I'm sorry. Just, I got a lot on my mind with this meeting with the bank. Shh. Hey, breathe. You've got this. Look, I promise it's not going to be like this forever. I know. And I want to promise you something. If you make me go through all this loneliness and struggle and then dump me and our daughter for some 19-year-old model the second you get rich, you will find us on an episode of My Crazy Ex. <laughs> I gotta go. We still on for date night tomorrow? Or am I spending another evening alone with Channing Tatum and his thong? I will be there. Come thong or high water. Hey, speaking of high water. Oh, yes, the washer. Yeah. I'm on it. Sorry. I'm running late. Hopefully that daughter of ours is ready to roll. If it's too much, I can drive her. No, it's my one contribution. Bye, Mr. CEO. Bye, Mrs. Tatum. Whoa!
reach Eric Camel. I'm not available at the moment. Please leave a message. Hey, don't forget to ask Floyd about that repairman he recommended. We've got to get this washer fixed. It's starting to smell pretty ripe down here. Um, anyway, good luck today and I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Bye. Hey, Liz. Ready for wine? It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. 10.30 a.m. somewhere. That is not how time zones work. Anyway, I called to let you know we're short on volunteers for the fundraiser and the Creole food vendor is out. What? Yeah, and this math leads coach is being very aggro about the whole thing. I'm on my way. So, wine later? God, I hope so. Nerd. This guy, dork. I thought I told you to stop sneaking up on me like that. I like to watch you bend over. Or I can bend over and help you grab the books that I made you drop. Hashtag not all boyfriends. <laughs> also, I think I saw your mom here. Uh, props for PTA stuff. I'm uh, still trying to get you into that math competition. Why are you jealous? Because my mom loves me. <laughs> no, uh, it's just every afternoon you're playing with those numbers when you could be playing with me. That's all I get. Sorry, I'm going to be late for class. No, you're not. See you later. <laughs> we are really close on volunteers. We just need about three more and to replace the food vendor for the one that dropped out. Liz, I want you to call Rosalind. She's a caterer I've worked with before. She's great, and she should be available last minute. I'm on it. As for the rest of us, let's all vow to bring in at least two people each. That should cover us. Good? Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks, everyone. Let's have an amazing fundraiser. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Mm. Post them up all over and everywhere, OK? Oh, yes. You wanted vino. Liz, purse wine is for movie theaters and public beaches, not school parking lots. You have a problem. Being responsible is the worst. <laughs> Ooh, did Eric uh, talk to his people at Vapor? He says he feels weird asking for money from his employees. He says it would be untoward. I don't know. Mm, how are you guys doing? Same. Thanks. He works a lot. And by a lot, I mean that's literally all he does. That must be hard on you. I'm alone a lot. He wakes up before me in the morning, and sometimes he comes home after I go to sleep. Feels like we're living two different lives, just in the same house. Hmm. But he's doing this for us. It's a good thing. You got any attractive female coworkers? What do you mean? Come on. Working late, ignoring you. I mean, I'm assuming you're not tearing up the sheets. No, that's no. Eric's not like that. Well, I didn't think Ash was like that either. Now the twins spend every other week with Ash and Becky. Look, you're the one holding this relationship together right now, and that's okay. Just make sure Eric's meeting you halfway. So you can try and try to save this relationship all by yourself, but. One day you're going to wake up and realize that you don't want it anymore. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Liz. Hi, honey. I am starving. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home, kiddo. Okay, Liz. Uh, see ya. You two take care. And Kay. How was your day? Pretty good. I solved a ridicka crazy equation in class today. My teacher was pretty impressed. Ridicka crazy? <laughs> That's right.
David. Yes, ma'am. Oh. How long has it been? I don't know. So long you almost didn't recognize me. <laughs> I'm sorry to drop in so late. I just got into town this minute. And I didn't have your number. It must have changed. No, no, no. Come in. Come in. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, sweetie. It's perfect. I love that shot. Yeah. So you were saying that's the year you moved up to Alaska? Yeah. Yeah, it was right around that time, I think. You know, I, I still can't get over how grown up you look. <laughs> Not so grown up. She's very mature for her age. Very responsible. Yeah, probably more responsible than I was at that age. <laughs> Tell us a story about a time you and Eric got into trouble. Uh, no, 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 no. He would not want me to do that. Um, yeah, I started doing the whole crab fishing thing and making good money, and then it's the off-season now, so I figured, why not? Go down, visit Eric, see his family. It's been a long time. Crab fishing? I hear that's pretty dangerous. Yeah, it looks insane on TV. Yeah, it could be dangerous. I saw a guy disappear once. Oh, my God. What happened? He was standing by the railing at the edge of the boat. The waves started getting bigger. I yelled something to him, but then the boat pitched, and then he was just gone. One minute, someone was standing there. The next, they weren't. I didn't even have time to reach out and offer him help. So what happened? Did they ever find him? No. It's awful. Yeah. But to be honest, he wasn't a very nice guy. Anyways, it, it feels really nice to be making a solid living for once, you know? Yeah. That's great, David. Yeah. But enough about me. It looks like we got a math wizard on our hands. We sure do. I was always terrible at it. Oh, me too. She definitely gets it from her father. <laughs> Yeah, well, Eric was always good with numbers. Yeah. Well, it's a shame to have missed him. I don't want to impose on you all, so I should probably be getting back to my motel. Wait, are you kidding? David, stay with us. I make good money, so it's not an issue. No, it's not that. Your family. We have a guest bedroom for a reason. I'm not sure what Eric would think about that. I'm sure he'll be excited to see you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought we could actually have dinner together for once. Look who's here. Hey, Eric. How's it going? Hi. When did you... Uh... He works in Alaska now, Dad. Crab fishing, like in those shows you watch? Me and Mom made him say. Which I knew you would want, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh... Excuse me a minute. Eric. Sorry, I... Let me just... Eric. Eric. Hey. Are you kidding me? How do you not like this song? It's awesome. I hate it. I mean, I just hate it. Come on, Uncle Dave, can I pick a song? Be my guest. I'm gonna go grab a beer. Okay. Are you excited for Sundays? Yeah. Yeah. 
Remember on our first date, I had a craving for a hot fudge sundae? You drove me to every restaurant in town trying to find sundaes at midnight. Why are you mad, babe? I'm not. I don't understand what's going on. You love your brother. You only ever have good things to say about him. Of course I love him. I just... What? I just, I'm surprised. That's all. I just, my head's in my work. You should have seen David's face when he walked away from him. He was crushed. One of our presentations fell through. We're way, way behind. I, I just didn't expect to see my brother, who I haven't seen in a million years, in my living room when I got home from work. You're right. I'm sorry. You married a jerk. No, I married a sweet guy. Now go be that sweet guy to the brother you haven't seen in a million years. Okay. Hey, man, can I wear those two? Hey, what's going on? Hey, let's just give them a minute, okay? Hey, uh, sorry, uh... No, was... don't, don't worry about it, man. Thank God we had a daughter. <laughs> a perfect daughter. An absolutely perfect daughter. She doesn't know what happened with me and... Oh, no. No. Uh, just so you know, man, that was like a really long time ago. All right? And I'm totally straightened out now. Got a great job. I'm seeing a therapist. I'm taking meds. And... I don't know, man. I feel like 100%. 110%. And I get it. If I were you, I'd be concerned, too. But I just want you to know that, like, it's all good. You want another beer? No, no, I'm good. Let's get back to the girls. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a fishing spot it's outside of town. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. I'll take you there once things kind of slow down at work. Yeah? Sounds good. Actually, how long are you uh, planning on sticking around for? I hadn't really given it much thought. Watch yourself there, bright boy. You get yourself hurt bumping into people. Excuse me? David, don't. All right? Just, just, David, just don't. It's cool. Okay. All right. You have a safe night, sir. That's what I thought. You guys ready to come sit down? Yeah, yeah, we'll, uh, come in. It's a hell of a nice family you got, man. You got it all. Thanks. I appreciate that. You should. Hey, what happened at the bar? I thought David was gonna deck that guy. Just some drunk that was, uh, bothering me. You okay? Yeah, yeah, Dave's just protective. Mm. Babe, I'm sorry. I'm really tired and stressed, and I have to get this done and then get some sleep. Are you sure? Yeah, seriously. Okay. I'm exhausted. Just let me finish this, please. Okay. Maybe, um, <clears throat> tomorrow after date night? Yeah. Definitely. I made you resort to scheduling sex with me? Hey, whatever works. Good night. Night, babe.
Hey, I'm sorry too for not asking you about David staying here. Oh, that's okay. I mean, why would you know that there was a problem? Is there a problem? Is there something going on between you two I should know about? No. We're good. Good morning. Hey, morning. You really don't have to do that, you know. Ah, oh, come on. It's the least I can do with you letting me stay here. Here, uh, I can... No, 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 no. It's fine. Go do your thing. I got it. I just came to ask where you like to keep the skillet. Oh, just under the stove in that little drawer? Right. I like that instructor. She's great. You do yoga? Yeah. And meditation. Gotta stay sane. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it looks like it's treating you well. Thanks. Glad somebody finally noticed. I mean, not to sound like an idiot, but you know. You work all hard and finally get in shape, and then nobody cares. Nobody's come to my door with a congrats on the abs trophy. Well, I'm sure Eric appreciates it. Sure. As in, you look healthy and relaxed, you know? <laughs> Yoga's a liar then, because I don't think I'm ever really relaxed. Right. Well, you've got a lot on your plate, so. Anyways, I made you a smoothie and it's in the fridge for when you're done. You really don't have to do that. It's not a problem. I'm just trying to help out. Anyways, I'll, I'll get out of your hair. Hey, hmm. I was gonna run some errands and head over to school soon. Want to come with? Keep me company? Yeah. Sure, yeah. That would uh, probably be good for me to get out of the house and see the town a little bit. See where my niece hangs out all day. Let me shower and eat real quick. All right. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce? I guess Laura's been rubbing off on me a little bit. I don't think teens say awesome sauce anymore. No? Cool beans? Do they say that? <laughs> no. Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, it's just right in here. Right. <laughs> oh. oh, good, you're here. We were just talking about how to, um... Hi, <laughs> who's this? Oh, this is Eric's brother, David. Just dropped in for a visit. Yeah. David Liz, a good friend of mine. Hi. And uh, Fran, a fellow PTA member and hardworking parent. David, it's so nice to meet you. I didn't realize that Eric had a brother. Yeah, he doesn't talk about me much. I guess I'm pretty boring. Oh, <laughs> seemed pretty interesting to me. <laughs> uh, David's offered to help in any way he can with the fundraiser. Oh, well, thank you very yeah. much, David. I know that I could definitely use some good help. <laughs> okay, then, so what's on the agenda? I don't get it. What are you afraid of? I'm just not ready to go there yet, Ron. Oh, hey, here comes your mom with some dude. <laughs> That's my uncle. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. Uh, uncle Dave, what are you doing here? I figured I'd help your mom out with some errands. She's got a lot on her plate. Oh, yeah, between doing yoga and watching TV. That's what you think I do? Look, your mom prepped all this week's meals, she cleaned the house, swung by the DMV and took the car into the shop. She got very scary with the teller at the bank and planned your fundraiser, and that's 
just this morning. You don't even realize everything that she does because she hardly breaks a sweat. I mean, your mom's a pretty groovy gal. <laughs> groovy. Sorry, who are you? I'm her boyfriend. Uh, well, just meet us by the car when you're ready, okay? Yeah, okay. I'll be there in a minute. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, take it easy, Uncle Dave. That's your uncle? What a cuck. He's actually really cool. Oh, yeah, right. Well, can he do this? Ah, damn it. And why would he want to? <sighs> you know, it's a good thing you're cute. Otherwise, I'd dump you just for knowing the word cuck. I'm cute, huh? <laughs> hey, give me a real one. So how did Laura end up dating that guy? Uh, she says he's some sort of music prodigy, an idiot savant. Hmm. Damn it, Eric. What's wrong? Well, he refuses to pay full price for this repairman, and he only wants to use someone his friend recommends, but he keeps forgetting to ask for the number, and this is really fascinating for you and not boring at all. <laughs> Thanks, I am. Um, I obviously have no idea what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure I can fix it. I've always been a DIY kind of guy, so Eric could focus on being the smart one. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, I, I should call Eric and tell him we don't need the repair guy anymore. Yeah, you don't need him anymore. I don't get it. I don't understand how you get it so easily. I, I like numbers. Apparently. Now, can we wrap this up and watch Goonies already? Okay, okay, just a couple more. Thank you. She always gets all dolled up for date night. Which I don't know why. You guys always go to the same restaurant and then the movies. <laughs> Boring. Hey, be nice to your mom. When you don't have very many opportunities to look nice, you find them. Well, you do look really pretty, Mom. Thank you. And you better hurry up or we're gonna be late. So how often is date night? Barely ever. Mm. Okay, so when you're solving for an unknown equation, you have to start with what you already do know. Right. Seriously? Why didn't you call me sooner? Sure you will. 
Okay, bye. I guess it's one more for Goonies, you guys. I'd better call the restaurant and cancel the reservation. Wait. I'll go with you. Just... <laughs> no, don't be silly. We, we shouldn't be spending money on movies and restaurants anyways. Hi, yes, I had a reservation for tonight. Come on, I think Eric would agree that you deserve a night out. Uh, hi, yes, um... I just wanted to confirm a reservation for two. Just saying, that's not how they do it in Alaska. Well, I'm sorry it didn't live up to your fish standards. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> you sound just like your brother. What, picky? <laughs> Eric's always been a little bit uptight, I know. Aw, oh, not always. I mean, not when we first met. I don't know this story. Well, uh, we met at a party. A friend introduced us. I liked Eric right away. I thought he was so handsome, but Eric was, I don't know, standoffish. He barely said hi to me. I thought he hated me, but as the night went on and the drinks were flowing, we kept stealing little looks at each other. Finally, he asked me to dance. I have to tell you, the first time we touched, it was like an actual physical spark flew between us. I never felt anything like that. We just knew. We just knew. And we were so happy. We were dancing and laughing like kids and jumping around and being crazy and and then we fell into the pool and <laughs> I kept trying to hide my face and swim to the side but Eric just pulled me right up to him and, and kissed me and then he took off his clothes and I took off my clothes and other people started diving into the pool and we were skinny dipping in the middle of all these people and it was wild and and that was Eric. Wild and free. I bet you were like that back then. Not quite. <laughs> to you. And being free. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I totally thought you were Eric. Oh, no. Sorry, it's just me. Oh, no, it's just you guys just look super cozy. Anyway, uh, are you having a good time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Best time I've had in a long time, actually. Great company. Oh, like when I fell asleep halfway during the movie and drooled on your shoulder? Yeah, well, I usually hang out on a <laughs> boat with a bunch of crabs and a guy named Three Tooth Jack, so your drool is the best thing to happen to me in, like, months. I'm just really excited to be out of the house. Well, you guys are super lucky. I just came from what was possibly the worst date in the history of dates. Thank you, internet. Mm. Anyway, it's nice to see you both. And thanks for showing this one a good time, David. She needed it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, and give Three Tooth Jack my number. Sounds hot. <laughs> he is not. You tired or do you want to Go grab a sundae or something. I'm sure there's probably a, an ice cream shop around here somewhere. Oh, uh, no, I, I think we should probably just go home. Right. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Okay. Right. I completely disagree. I'm just saying that would never really happen. It absolutely life. could happen. Oh, really? Yes, I have a friend actually, Eric. 
past midnight. Laura told me what happened. You guys have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic time. Good. You know, bro, why don't, why don't we go on that fishing trip soon? Grab a beer? Maybe later this week when the girls are at the fundraiser? That sounds good. Good. Good night, bro. You coming, babe? Yeah. Just a sec. Okay. I had a nice time. Me too. Have a good night. You too. So you had fun tonight, huh? Yeah. It's nice to have an evening out. Sorry I had to cancel. Everything. Eric, I don't know. Come on. Have you been drinking? I had a drink. With who? We're going over strategy. It was a partner's thing. You canceled date night for drinks? Baby. No, is that all that was going on? What? what? What are you asking me? Are there any relationships at work you want to tell me about? When I say I'm working, I'm working. Hey, good morning. Good morning. You off somewhere? Yeah, I was gonna take a run. I need to de-stress. You think you want to come with me to school again today? I might pass on that, actually. There's just some personal things that I want to attend to. Totally get it. No worries. Do your thing.
So your mom's still cool with us going out tonight? Yeah, but I can't get home too late. I'll get you home early, 5, 6, 7 a.m. No later, I promise. <laughs> oh. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, Mom. <laughs> they need me to stay later to handle some stuff with the vendors. Do you mind waiting? I could take her home, Mrs. C. Oh, yeah, I can just go with her on. Okay. I I'm going to be home in an hour, and I expect to see you there. <laughs> Mrs. C, of course. Okay. Do you know how much damage we could do to each other in an hour? You are such a pearl. <laughs> Come on, I gotta go. Let me come in. Nobody's home, and we we got some time. I Thanks for the ride. I want to look extra special for you tonight. This is a fundraiser for a school event. I'm sorry, ma'am. Those are our rates. I can ask my manager to see if we can cut anything else back, but that's the ballpark. Let me know. OK. Can you believe that? People mystify me. <laughs> Ouch. Look, Kate. You're my best friend, mm -hmm. and I want you to be happy. But just make sure that what you're doing is, is what you want to do. What do you mean? You and David seemed pretty uh, intimate. Sorry, I have to get this. Hey, Laura, sweetie. What's wrong? What? Oh my god, uh, stay there. Wait, hey, what, where are you going? It's David, something's wrong. Laura? Laura, where are you? Here, Mom. You're turning me into a mummy right now. I'm trying to do it right if you would sit still. <sighs> hey, you guys. Hey, Mom. <laughs> uh, What's going on? I'm sorry to tell you, your daughter's probably not going into the medical field anytime soon. I'm literally doing the best I can. I'm just kidding. Thank you. What Thank about you. the emergency? Laura, you sounded so panicked on the phone. Sorry, I saw the blood and... I was trying I... to move that mirror down in the basement and I don't know what happened. It, it flipped and I tried to catch it and it just... Shattered into like a million pieces. Well, not a million pieces, Okay, but, but... a few thousands at least. Right. Anyways, it was loud, and I heard him scream, and I didn't know anyone was home. And I scared he, her. 
Yeah. And apparently we scared you, so sorry. Yeah, well, you sounded really panicked on the phone. Yeah, sorry, Mom. Are you sure you're okay? You don't need to go to the ER or anything? Oh, no, look at me. Maybe she is ready for med school. <laughs> or at least art school or something, because my hand kind of looks like a paper mache tree stump. <laughs> oh, it's getting late. I have to change. Are you okay? Yeah. I feel like there's something you're not telling me. I, uh, I lost my job. What? Yeah. The, the crab fishing gig? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the whole company shut down. David, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I mean, I'll get another job. I was gonna get you a glass of water, but you need booze. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I remember when I lost my job. Are you kidding me? What kind of idiot boss would want to fire you? I mean, I, mean, I didn't lose it. I, I left. Oh. Yeah, after I got pregnant, Eric and I thought it'd be better for one of us to be home, and... It wasn't going to be Eric, was it? Hey! I am so sorry. <laughs> oh my god, what are you guys doing? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Please, let me... Um, uh, hi, honey. You look, you look great. You did a good job with your uncle's hand. Don't, don't listen to him. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> god, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, well, I gotta go. Try not to destroy everything in here. <laughs> I try not to. I, I should go soak this, it's gonna stink. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> and I should go clean up the glass that I broke downstairs, too, so... <laughs> okay. okay. <sighs> hey, what are you doing tonight? Uh, what any clumsy <laughs> badass would be doing. Uh, watching chick flicks with you? You're on. Okay. So what did you used to do? I was a paralegal. Mm. It sounds boring, but it was exciting. Following hunches, doing deep dive research, helping change people's lives. You miss it. Mm -hmm. I bet you're good at it. I kind of always thought once Laura was grown, I'd go get my law degree. Well, you should do that. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> You'll help me? Sure. <laughs> How? I don't know. I'll, I'll be your housewife. <laughs> Stop. I'm serious. <laughs> you fix things and clean things and keep you filled up on smoothies and ice cream. From deadliest catch to desperate housewife, huh? Why not? Wouldn't that be something? I'll be right back. Thanks for tonight. Yeah, yeah. Can I get a goodbye kiss? Yeah. No backing out this time.
我愿意做这样。I'm just not ready to go there. I should go. No, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Should we run tests? I just want to make sure we're covering all our bases. Officer, I know my brother. He was just defending my daughter from being assaulted. Mr. Campbell, he hospitalized a minor. I know my brother overreacted. He's just very protective. What he is is lucky. Now, since the boy's injuries weren't that serious, his father isn't pressing charges. Says he thinks his son deserved the whipping. So you're not taking David into custody? No, ma'am. But with his record, he better watch himself. I'll be back to finish his statements. Excuse me. I don't know. What? I get he thought he was protecting Laura, but you didn't see him. He was acting like a crazed madman. And that Ron kid is a little bastard. I've had a bad feeling about him from the beginning. And David only did what I would have done. Yeah, but you're never here, so you didn't do anything. You're right. You're right. Laura, honey, you okay? Okay, Come here. Come here. being a jerk. He's been a jerk before, but I don't think he deserved that. I shouldn't have gone out with him tonight, and I shouldn't have worn that stupid dress. No. No, Laura, look at me. This is not your fault at all. This has nothing to do with you or what you wore. This is all on Ron, not you. Okay? It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Mom. Yeah. How long is Uncle Dave staying with us? He's leaving soon. Why didn't you tell me David has a record? Tell me the truth, Eric, please. Babe, we've had a long day. Eric? Let's just, let's get some rest. Eric, so if you don't tell me, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Kidding? He's a murderer. 
No. No. No, babe, we were, we were kids. He was just he was trying to protect, protect I can't me. I can't believe you didn't tell me this a long time ago. That's just wrong, Eric. I am your wife. Honey, I, I know, but look, we were kids. I, I just figured that... You just figured what? What, that, that I didn't need to know that my husband's brother's a murderer? It was manslaughter. Oh, whatever, Eric. He looked like he was going to kill Ron tonight. And... And what? That I'm not comfortable with him being here anymore. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I'll talk to him tomorrow. Honey, what are you doing? I'm gonna go sleep in the den. No, 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 don't. I'll go. I'm sorry. I should have told you sooner. I saw my brother again. I just got the feeling that something was... I just wanted to be wrong. I'm sorry, too. Why? You didn't do anything wrong. Eric, I... I have to tell you something. I started to have feelings for your brother. Are you in love with him? No. No. He's your brother. I mean, he's... It's like he's a part of the family, and... He was here. And I, I admit I enjoyed his company. David seemed to really care about me and what I had to say. It felt good to not be alone all the time. Did something happen between... No. No, it wasn't like that. But I think he's falling for me. I... I should have read into things more. I mean, how standoffish you were when you first saw him. I should have known. No. I should have told you the truth from the beginning. I guess I was just trying to protect him. He's my little brother. But I just, I can't do that anymore. I don't want to lose my family. Me either.
I'm gonna work less. I'm gonna be home more. I wanna be there for you and Laura. I love you. I love you too. I'm sorry you had to sleep down here. I'll, I'm gonna tell David. I'm gonna break the news to him. No, maybe we should do it together. No, 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 no. It needs to be me. We have our fishing date today. I'll do it then. Where is he? I heard him come in late last night. God knows what he's doing. Morning, Kay. Morning. Hey, wait. Would you like my company? No, I'm good. Besides, you finally got that fishing trip with Eric. Right, right. That mythical fishing spot. <laughs> well, I'll believe it when I see it. Anyway, I should go. Laura's waiting in the car. The fundraiser's today, isn't it? Didn't you want my help with that? No, I, I mean it is, but everything's done. Hmm. Okay. Hey, bro. Today's the day. You know, I thought Kay needed my help with something, actually. Didn't you? Oh, we have it all worked out. Don't worry about it. You're off the hook. Pardon the pun. <laughs> have fun, boys. Bye. 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 All right. Let's go. I blocked the whole day off for you. So this place does exist. <laughs> yeah. You want a beer? No, I'm good, actually. Thanks. <sighs> Great day, right? Yeah, it sure is. Thanks for inviting me out. I know you've been busy. Of course. Don't do any of this at home. <laughs> Your uncle isn't here. And he won't be there when you get home either. I love Uncle Dave. Of course. But last night he really scared me. Your dad's taking care of it. You can always give your uncle a call and say goodbye later. Yeah. Oh, hey, Amanda. the soap opera that is your life. <laughs> About to get a lot less soapy. David's leaving today. Eric's talking to him right now. It's all very awkward, but it's for the best. And you and Eric are... Gonna be really, really great. He changed his work hours, so he's gonna be home more, and I'm gonna take a civil procedure course online. Oh, getting your little legal feet wet again, <laughs> huh? <laughs> it's just a start, but... At least we're working together, so we're both happy. That's 
great news. And I'm glad that David's gonna be moving on along too. So. This will all be over soon. So, uh, you know, I've been thinking things are starting to get a bit hectic at the house. You know, Laura's got to start cramming for that math competition. You want me to leave? I think it's time to move on. Move on? To what? I, I don't know, man. Like, your life? This is because of what happened. Isn't it? With Laura's boyfriend? You did beat a kid up. He's not a kid. He's as big as us, and he's a punk. You said it yourself. You didn't see the way he was manhandling her, Eric. Look, David, you got my wife and my daughter freaked out, okay? And now Kay knows what happened with Mike. You told her about that? I, I can't defend you anymore. You can't defend me. <laughs> you can't defend me. That's really funny. Because the last time I checked, I defended you. I saved you. You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. Hey, we, we don't know that, all right? Mike was, he was just trying to scare me. You didn't see Mike. I did. He was dead set on killing you, and I saved you. Okay, Dave, just wait. Okay, like, I know that you think that. You don't know anything. Saving you got me real far in life. Did you know that? Hmm? Getting sent to institutions, my whole future ruined. Getting beaten up in prison and forced to take meds that zonked me out to the point that I didn't know who I was. David, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're really sorry? Yeah, I'm sure you are. You got to stay in school and be the star student, date pretty girls and go off to college and get a great job and now have an amazing home and family. And what do I got, huh? What do I got? I got nothing, man. I've got... Nothing! I've got a crap job in a cold, dark place alone. I never could meet anyone. Was too afraid to even talk to people, all because I saved you. You can't keep blaming everything on that. Yes, I can! I can! Okay? And now you're just jealous? Because your daughter sees me as the father she's never had? And your wife? Hmm. She loves me. You are delusional. Sorry, brother. Hey, Dad, we did great. Oh. Hop in. There's my dad. He got caught up with some work stuff. Sent me instead. I thought Mom said you were leaving. Yeah, I am soon. Hop in. Uh, yeah, okay. Made you one of my smoothies. Goal and then some. Hey, I'm fine. You said David and Eric were fishing? Yeah. I just saw David pick Laura up. Eric said he'd pick her up on his way home. Did you see him? It was just David. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure. What did you give me? It's okay, sweetie. 
just sleep. We'll be home soon. Please just call or text me back as soon as you can, okay? Laura's not picking up either. I have a terrible feeling. Maybe they just went to dinner. Eric was with his brother. They went fishing. Eric was going to tell him to leave. Okay, but do you really think that David would hurt Eric? I don't know. I'm sure everything's fine. I thought it would be a lot better if she slept. This is gonna be a tough transition. Damn you, David. Tell me where my husband is. Hey. my husband is let's not pretend that Eric was some sort of fantastic husband or father all right we all know that he wasn't we all know that I've done more for this family in the short time that I've been here than he's ever done admit it Kay admit it when I came here you were empty I saw it in your eyes, Kay. An empty soul with a void that needed to be filled. Filled by a real man, me. I deserve this family. All right, Eric, he's done nothing to deserve you. Did you kill my husband, David? Oh, please, you too. He's not worth a single one of your tears. Answer me. Please, Uncle David, just let us go. No. Mm -mm. You're not going anywhere. You finally have a real man in the house. Are you okay? What happened? God. Uh. Oh my God, you've been shot. I'm calling 911. My wife and my daughter. I know it's been hard for you. 
And I know it's been unfair. You're right. Eric does owe you. If not for you, he would have never had the opportunities that he had. He would have never had the life that he had. You rescued him. You gave him his life. I see that. I see you, David. You deserved better. You sacrificed yourself for your brother, and in return, they stole your life. It wasn't right. I agree with you. You are a better man than Eric. He hasn't been there for us, for me, in years. I've been basically a single mom this whole time, handling everything to do with the family with zero help from him. He broke my dreams, too. My career. And the happiness I wanted to have at home. I've been so lonely. I would be lucky to have a man like you around the house. I can't wait for the life we talked about. And I can become a lawyer so that I can protect you. Imagine that. Somebody defending you for once. And you'll be here. Always here for me. In our home together. Our family. That's all I want. Uncle Dave, having you here has been good for me, too. You talked to me and cared about school. Dad never did. I felt like I could rely on you and when you stood up for me. Mom was right. It's like you're my dad already. Thank you both. Hey, it's all gonna be different now. So you want me to stay, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> David, this is gonna take time. It's me now, and as soon as you can accept that, we can move on with our lives. Leave my family alone. I am your family! No, 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 no. What are you doing? No, 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 no. David, David just let Laura go, okay? Please, I'll stay here with you. I'll protect you from them. Please, just let her go. Let me help you. No, 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 I got it. I spent a lot of time on this recipe, so I want to make sure it is served properly. All right. Thank you. There you go, ladies. 
please. Dinner is served. Looks amazing, babe. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, how's it feel to be the math champ of Brisbane? <laughs> it feels pretty great. <laughs> Sorry, I had to miss it. Mmm. Pretty good recipe. Mm. So my biggest question with both of my ladies uh, in school, mm -hmm. who's gonna watch Channing Tatum movies with me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the neighbors. The neighbors. 